are you being triggered? Hi guys, so I want to do a jump on here real quick on the topic of being triggered. Um, a lot of times uh, when we're triggered, it basically means that there's something that we need to see the truth in. Um, it's the illusion that we believe or something that has been hurt within us. We have like a wounded child or a past situation that resonates with it that hasn't been resolved or something that we need to look at within ourselves. Um, whenever it's a trigger, it means there's something there, right? And we may not have it in clear sight or understand what that is until we dive within ourselves to see what that is. Um, on a regular basis, you know, uh, having your life experience, you know, you shouldn't be triggered by anything, right? Unless there's something there that makes you triggered. And so if you if there's a triggering, it's going off in you, not the other person, because the person is only bringing it up within you. And so what they're doing, they may not be triggered, right? And so that's a clue that if you're triggered by something, how something's being said to you or done, there's something within you that's not resonating uh, with that. And it's not good or bad or blaming or shaming uh, you or your other person. It's just that there's something within you that's just not right. And so whether you took it as something in the past as negative that doesn't align with truth, which is love and oneness, or and you've wrote it and you've um, placed it there, uh, you judged it because when we judge something, we solidify it. We, we make it true within ourselves. And so anything that's not in alignment with truth or love or oneness, right, is judgment. Right, that's the uh, ups ends of the stream, the consciousness, right? And so when we judge something, we write it, it becomes written. And this talks about it when I explain the over, uh, the overwriting of certain things and conditionings and patterns and belief systems. And so when we judge it or accept something or condemn it or whatever it is that we're doing that's not in alignment with, with you know, truth or source or oneness or love then we're writing that we're creating that we're making that our set point and so whenever something comes up related to that that sets that off in a trigger within us it's actually helping us because it brings us up for us to see it it's not there to hurt you or harm you or condemn you and a lot of people think that you know, oh, they did this to me, right? And, but you're the one being triggered and they're not. And it could be something just a comment or something they said or something. But in their unconsciousness of saying it, it's triggering you to help you bring it up to, for you to look at it. What is, What do I need to see about it, right? And so they're there to help you even in their unconsciousness about what they're saying or doing um, in their realization. It all works together, right? And so for you to sit there and be triggered and then judge another person, you're just adding to what you have set up and you writ into your energy field. So the next time it comes up, you're going to have the same experience. It's going to keep coming back. And those are your cycles. Those are your patterns. Those are your belief systems. Those are your judgments. Those are your understandings of it is from that point of view of when you accepted it at that point. So like if you're a child and like your parents say something negative, it's going to be written, right? You're, whatever you respond and how you respond to that or you judge it is how it's going to be written at that moment in time, right? Which is a timeline. And so that's your set point. And so every time you view it, it's going to grow and evolve. So every time something triggers you, it's going to go right to that point. It's going to trigger it and bring it up. And so it gives you an opportunity to look at it instead of rejudging it and believing in it and it's like take a look at it say why am i feeling this trigger why am i feeling this judgment this emotion this feeling because it's what you wrote at that time when we write something within our energy field it's our thoughts our beliefs our emotions our feelings about it when it's being said to us how we receive it and so it may not even be about you know this lifetime it may be from a past lifetime and so we have to go to lifetimes prior to this, right? And that's where healing comes in, right? And so healing along the timeline 
which is the past lives, you know, the soul regressions, things like that, that we can do, hypnosis, right? And so going back in the timeline to heal it and change it and see it now from this perspective of what it was then, and all timelines are all together happening now. So we can do that. That's why we can go back and see it. So it's all happening now. We, if it was in the past, past, we wouldn't be able to do it. Right. But it's all happening at the same time. And so we can. Right. We can always go back and change and rewrite it. We can overwrite it um, and rewrite it to what we want it to be, because now we have a different perspective on it where we are now. And so but we have the choice to just continue that as it's coming up for us to see it. We can continue to live it or we continue to not live it. And if we make the choice to not live it, then it leaves. It's no longer it gets gone right and we can rewrite it with what we want it to be i don't choose that anymore i don't choose that thought i don't choose that belief i don't choose that emotion i don't choose how that is and so it no longer affects you it's the changing of the timeline and so when we bring that forward into our lives we're allowing ourselves to be present in the moments right by changing that and so that's the changing of the timelines um, and so i don't know if that helps any to explain it a little bit um, and I know that's in our, the books and what I receive and how I work with uh, the clients to help them to transform their lives and to move on from those triggers. So anywhere there's a trigger, first thing is always to look within. See where this is coming from. See where I wrote that. See where I was when I wrote that, who I was at that time, what I was believing in, where I was, who I was. And then do you want to keep it or do you want to change it? Right? And so these are the, the steps, right? And so these are things to look at when you're feeling triggered. Now, if you're going to keep it, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You can keep it, right? You can keep it for, the, for eons to come. But you're always going to be triggered to come back to it, to look at it when you are ready to change it, right? And so <laughs> that's the triggers. That's the trigger points. So it's really up to you when, when, whenever you're ready to let go of something that no longer serves you, the belief in it or the feelings of it or the, the reason or the reality, the illusion of it, um, it's really to bring you forward, right? And so as you're continuing to live on that timeline, that path, you're going to keep having those experiences that brings it back up for you to make a different decision, right? And that's the timeline. That's how that works. It's the timeline, the path of transformation. And so you can change it anytime. It's just if you're choosing it, right? And so it's all about choice, right? And so my books talk about it. I'm, I'm putting together a program that helps with the uh, healing, the, the karmic overlay, uh, the illusion, right? So because there's really no karma, it's just our, our illusion, which is the karma, right? And it's how we think it is, right? And it's the illusion. Um, and I talk about karma, um, in it, but I'm putting together a program for that and to, but a lot of my videos will help. So if you scan through the videos and check some of those out, it'll help you to bring about, you know, some understanding up until that point and to help you. And then I do have the karmic uh, overlay, healing the karmic overlay um, book out there. And it just has the invocations and um you can get that, but I'm putting together the whole book on, on that as well as I'm writing and channeling it. So that'll be out hopefully soon. Um, you know, trying to get that all in, um, have a lot of channel writings going on here. So trying to get that all together, but, um, that is on the, uh, to-do list. You know, if you want to book a session and, you know, talk about some things, uh, clarify it, help you to redirect where you are on certain things, why things keep coming back up, we can, you know, go through the energy and vibration of it. And so you can book a session um, until books get out there. Um, but yeah, all right. Um, so if you're being triggered, tune in and see where it's coming from. Take a look at that whole picture. Um, why do I keep being triggered on that? Who was I? When was I? Why did I judge that? Because if we're triggered, it's what we set in stone as our set point and it can not be re erased, but it can be overwritten, right? And so from there, we're changing our timeline. When we can change our timeline, um, then we can live something different and we can see it from a different perspective. So when we change it, we want to put it to something uh, that we want to see it as because now we are in a place where we can see it differently, right? We've evolved from then. You know, child, we have different views, points, 
as we're a teenager, we have different viewpoints. As an adult, we have different viewpoints because we lived a lot of life, right? And so we can go back and overwrite it, what we choose, and then we create a new timeline, and then that's what we live off of, right? And so nothing is ever set in stone. You can you can overwrite it, right? So, all right, hopefully that helps. Uh, again, you know, books are going to be available. Things are things are on uh, YouTube, you know, my videos. They try and explain all this, put it all together in a perspective so you can always scroll through those and kind of see where that is. And then, of course, I have, you know, we can do the, the individual sessions. All right, happy journeys.